Hi, Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor, and we are back to a set of leggings. Regular leggings are fine, but it's always nice to have a little pocket for your phone, for some money, credit card, you know how that goes. So let's take a look. This is my base pair of leggings, and what we're trying to do is add a section here for your pocket. Now, you can make the pocket as wide as you want to, as low, as high, you get the idea. So let me go back to my dress form here. And what you wanna do is measure from your waist down to where you want that pocket to open. So for this pair, I've already altered this pattern a little bit by adding a thicker waistband. So from the waist down, I wanna be about six inches. So just keep that measurement in mind. The next thing you have to do is measure how wide your phone is or whatever you wanna put in those pockets. So again, this is the visual of what we're trying to do here. And now let's go to my base leggings pattern. I'm just gonna use the largest size on here, which is an 18, just as a base. So that's the outside line. So if I go down six inches, I'm just going to mark this. If you can see that purple mark there. All right, so that's where I want my pocket to go. The next thing I'll do is use the, I'm using the grain line as a base here. Slide my ruler up to that six inch, line this up with the grain line. Just draw this all the way. There you go. So that's where I want my pocket to start. How wide do I want my pocket? Well, I think this one was about four inches. So you want to figure out, this legging pattern has no side seam. So on your body, you're going to want to figure out, do you want it closer to the front, the side? Where is it going to be convenient for your pocket? And I'm just going to do it somewhere in the middle. If you measure across the top here, you could go right into the halfway point if you wanted to. I'm just gonna use this as a guide, where this is, this is the area I'm gonna do my pocket, right here. A little bit closer to the front than the back. I don't wanna sit, at, sit on my pocket, if you know what I mean. So, all right, I'm gonna line this up. And I, it's really important to line whatever you're drawing here with your grain line. So I'll do this all the way down. all the way to the hem. And then we're going to draw a second line. All the way down. Okay, so this is gonna be an entire panel. And then we need to draw our pocket. Let's see, I'm gonna mark this. What I would suggest is take your phone or whatever you're going to put in that side pocket and lay it on here. You need to give yourself a little bit of extra room beyond the phone so it can wrap around it. But this fabric stretches, so don't give yourself too much. But this should be good. So this is going to be my pocket. And this whole entire piece is going to be the side panel. Now, when you go to do this, if you've watched me in the past, when I do some pattern hacking, you need to give yourself some slash marks so you know to add a seam allowance when you cut this apart. So I'll cut this apart. I'm going to add a seam allowance to each piece. So this now is gonna be piece number one, two, and three. I've already cut this out, so let me just show you what this looks like. I think that will help a little bit. So here's mine, let's see. One, two, three, there's my pocket. So let me show you how to sew this together. Now again, you could use a sewing machine or a serger, which I'm showing you know, a whole bunch of different ways for you to do this. So whatever machine you have, you'll be able to make this work. So there are my pieces. You can see my chalk marks on the back side. On this one, I made the top a little bit wider than the bottom. Just a little design element there. And then here are my pockets. Now, you could do a pocket out of mesh which is kind of cool, you can see through, or use self-fabric, whichever one you want. I'll go ahead and use the self-fabric. So the first thing you have to do on your pocket is fold over the top edge. This fabric does not fray. So if I fold this over, I really don't need to fold it over twice. I can fold it over once and finish the top edge and then insert it into that side seam. Give a little bit of steam here. 
I think my iron was sleeping. There we go. All right, so let's go to the sewing machine. And the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to mark on here for myself where this is going to go. I'm just going to put a little pin there. You could also use Taylor's chalk or something like that. And that will give me a guide. So let's take all these pieces over to the sewing machine and serger. So on here, I found this decorative stitch that looks just like uh, top stitching. There we go. All right. And now I'm just going to stitch across, all the way across the top on a faster speed than that. So this will give it a decorative stitch. This is another great way after you serge your seams if you want to finish the edges. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's looking great. Obviously, I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see this, but actually, I kind of like that look. All right. And just real quick, I just want to show you this piece here was the mesh. I did the same exact thing. So either one, mesh or regular fabric. That looks great. And look it, it stretches, which you really is very important. Uh, on the back side, it's not going to fray, so I'm not going to worry about that. OK, so if my pocket's going to go here, I need to finish this bottom edge. So I just tuck this under like this and fold it back. Just use your hands to hold that in place. I'm going to put a pin. We're just going to use a straight stitch to hold the bottom of the pocket in place. Go back to a straight stitch. You could use a zigzag stitch if you want or a triple stitch. That will give it where it'll stretch a little bit more. And that's what we'll do. You will use a triple stitch set at a stitch length of 3.5. Turn this off. There we go. That triple stitch will be strong enough to hold whatever goes in your pocket. And again, it will stretch when you put your leggings on. OK, see what I mean? All right, now we're going to flip this up. You have the option. You could add another decorative stitch there if you want to. I'm not going to at this point. The next step I'm going to do is just switch to a basting stitch. And let's make the stitch length 5.0. That's a basting stitch because we could rip it out if we want to. I just want to baste this pocket in place before I sew this seam. Keep my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. There's really no need for pins on this. If you start at the bottom of the pocket, this fabric can be a little tricky to work with because it slips around. But if you start at the bottom and just hold this in place, it should sew just fine. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I am using a number 11 jersey needle so it doesn't puncture the fabric. So my pocket is ready. All right, the next step, we're going to go to the serger for this. We're going to take piece number one, or that's number three. And we're going to sew this entire seam with the serger. All right, I have this set up for a four thread overlock, a four thread again, is a little bit stronger than a three thread, which when it comes to wearing pants, I think is a little important. And if I stitch, if, even if I'm not in capturing the basting stitch, it's okay, because we're going to rip that out later. And you can see I'm just barely cutting that thread. I mean, cutting that fabric. My seam allowance is a scant, a quarter of an inch. Right, we're almost done with one leg. All right, so there's my seam. Again, I'm using a thread that you can see. It stretches, and one side's finished. Now let's just go to the other. My next piece, so with right sides together, here we go. I like to start at the top and stitch down for all of these. All right. Okay. 
One little trick if you're having a problem with this fabric, you can hold your finger in between each of these layers and kind of hold it up as it goes through. It prevents it from sliding around. So again, I'll do that here. Okay, so let's go back here and just see what we have. That looks great. Now, you have another option. I like it to look uh, real sporty, so you could use a double cover stitch or that decorative stitch, and I just wanna show you just a little bit of this. On the back side, you can press this or just finger fold it to, the, you want the seams to go out, okay? So it's less bulk. And I'm just gonna go back to that decorative stitch and just give you a little idea of what this looks like. So we got the decorative stitch. And I'm just gonna do a little section here just to give you an idea. And what I'm doing is I'm holding this, this will hold that seam in place. Because you're gonna be washing these leggings over and over, wearing them, and you don't want your seam allowances to be all half to the front and half to the back. So let me just take this out and see what we have. And then we'll go back up here. That looks great. So I'm gonna go back up here and just show you again something that we did here. So, again, here's our number piece number one, two, three, there's our pocket. You can fit something in there. Here's our decorative stitching. All of this stretches. And back here, this is one with a mesh that you can see through. You can make it as long as you want or as short. And that is a super fast, easy way to alter any pair of leggings to add an extra pocket.